One day, I was wandering around my apartment building and magically found a piece of bamboo wood. I don't know what made me, but I thought of making a bow with it. Maybe it was because my anti-digital parents over there <laughs> did not let me own a smartphone or play a computer game, so I was in a need to make my own toy the primitive way. From there began my bow making. Okay. The area within three kilometers of my home used to be a mulberry forest during Joseon Dynasty, where silkworms were fed with mulberry leaves. In order to raise the historical awareness of this fact, the government had planted mulberry trees. The seeds from these trees also have spread around by birds here and there, nearby the soundproof walls of the city expressway that has been built around 1988 Olympics. The area near these walls, where nobody bothers to pay attention to, had been left free from major intervention. And this is where I find all my treasures. For example, you. This bow is made of you. It is sturdy hardwood and flexible sap wood, which makes it perfect for making bows. I try to imitate this effect by gluing nylon fibers or bamboo piece over the surface of an ordinary wood. Maple has good elasticity and can easily work with knives and axes, but as you see, it is not easy to find a straight branch though. It is stronger when stretched rather than compressed, which makes it perfect for making composite bow, mm, which makes it perfect for gluing over the surface of an ordinary wood as a composite bow. Every day, when I work with different kinds of woods that, <laughs> that has been existed since the beginning of uh, uh, different kinds of trees that grew from different soils and minerals, when I work with that very DNA that has been existed since the beginning of time, I feel free traveling back and forth to the ancient world. It is the best trip you can take, even better than any other imaginary world in computer games. Uh, Oh, one day I was changing the shape of a bamboo piece and ended up setting the place on fire where the rooftop of my apartment building where 96 families call home. Uh, a customer from a department store across my building called 911, a Hyundai department store. And I ran downstairs with half of my hair burnt to tell my mom. I said, Mom, I think you might want to expect some massive payment duties coming your way, and I am really, really, really sorry. I will never do it again. Uh, of course, my oath had a five-day lifespan. My mom had to go through five-day formal investigation telling people that her son did not, premeditated, uh, did not commit a premeditated arson. Okay, I also researched some traditional bows in many countries. For example, this is Turkish bow. This recurved tip maximizes the springiness when you pull, draw, and shoot the arrow. This is a Native American wooden bow. Its mid part is withdrawn inward like the shape of number three. So when you pull the drawstring, both ends will bend further. The further you pull, the draw weight goes up, so the arrow will fly a longer distance. After fixing, breaking, redesigning, mending, bending, and amending, I find I came up with my own ideal bow. I have combined the two characteristics from my favorite research, the Turkish and the Native American, and finally, I found my very own. Well, do you see how my ideal bow ends up looking like the Korean traditional bow? Is it similar? Okay, and let's see how it works. <laughs> uh. Our ancestors already knew 
So bravo to my Korean DNA. <laughs> uh, through through bow making, I came in contact with parts of my heritage, learning the information left, uh, that has accumulated over time. Reading the message left by my ancestors was better than any consolation, therapy, or piece of advice that any living adults could give me. Uh, <clears throat> the bow may function in a simple mechanism, but, I, but in order to make a good bow, a great amount of sensitivity is required. You need to console and communicate with the wound material. <clears throat> Each fiber in the wood has its own reason and function for being. And only through cooperation and harmony among them comes a great bow. Living in a pressure cooker competition environment, my own ideal world is the place where no one is left behind and everyone is needed exactly where they are like the fibers. The place where the strong is flexible and the vulnerable is resilient. The bow resembles me and I resemble the bow. Now I am choosing a part of myself to you. No, better yet? My, my part of my mind just has been shot over to your mind. Does this sting anyone? <laughs> Thank you. 